today we are playing Disney's Villainous. So, uh, the first time I played it, I was super confused. So, don't, don't give up on the game right away. It gets a lot easier once you play it. The kids are masters. So in the game, in the box, you get your instructions. Watch the kids review because that one is way more beneficial than this how to play video is going to be. Um, they're honestly the masters. So, all right, Ursula, who's Ursula? Me. Ryder. Who's Jafar? Sure. Dad. Mom's gonna be Queen of Hearts and Lily is going to be Captain Hook. Prince John and Maleficent are very straightforward, so we are not going to play with those ones. First thing you want to do is take your cards. So each villain has a colored deck and a white deck, the fate deck. Okay? Colored deck goes on the left. The fate deck, the white deck, goes on the right. Make sure both decks are shuffled. Each character comes with a token. So this is the Queen of Hearts. Some of the characters have a lock icon. You can't see, I don't have one anyway on the Queen of Hearts, but you can see on Riders right here, uh, Ursula has a lock icon. Um, so does Jafar and so does Captain Hook. So those three players will get the lock tokens. This is the fate token. It is only used if you are playing with five or six players. That's not us. These are power tokens. They're kind of like money. The first player, the person who goes first will start with zero. The second player gets one. And the third and fourth player get two to start. We're not going to use these, but there are keys to tell you and explain what these symbols mean and do. Each player also comes with a villain guide that talks, teaches you about the most important cards and how to win. Again, check out the blog. Uh, the kids did a really good in-depth write-up in there. And their review is also really good. So watch that as well. They explain each of the characters how to win and the cards you need. So each turn, I guess mom will go first. So I will get no tokens to start. Ryder will get one. Lily and dad will get two. So to start your turn, you pick up four cards from your colored deck and take a look at them. Each turn, you will move to a new location. You will do as many of the actions as you want. So again, there's a key, there's an action guide for that. The kids explain it more. You don't have to do them all, just as many as you want. Once that's done, you pick up enough cards so that you still have four in your hand. And then it's the next player's turn. So we'll walk you through each of us going once, and then we'll speed it up and go from there. 
So, I moved here. I'm going to collect my three. I get to play two cards. And I'm actually going to play both cards. So I'm going to put one here and one here. The costs are at the top. That's how many tokens they are. Now I can activate. However, to activate, I also have to pay one power. I don't have any left, so I cannot activate. So my turn is over. I will now pick up back to four cards. And my turn is over. It's now Ryder's turn. So Ryder moves, picks up his power tokens. He can lay down two cards. He's going to lay down one. He laid down the trident, which he needs to win. When he lays down the trident, he has to find King Triton. King Triton steals the trident. Now, I'm going to just put it like this so everybody can see. King Triton is has a strength of six. And unlike any of the other villains, you cannot vanquish King Triton. Ursula only defeats her heroes with binding contracts. The kids will explain that in their video, and we'll come back to that later, once Ryder finds a binding contract. He's picked up. It's now Lily's turn. She moves. She collects her power. She can play up to two cards. She's going to play one, which is Neverland. the Neverland map. The Neverland map is needed to remove the lock icon from her board. That's all she can do. She'll pick up back to four. Dad moves. Draw one. <clears throat> Draw one. Fate. He's going to fate Mum. So you take two cards from Mum's fate deck, hand them over. Dad will choose which one he wants to play on me. The colored cards go along the bottom of your board. The fate cards that Dad's going to play on me go along the top. And they very obviously block half of my actions. So dad's going to play the white rabbit hero on my courtyard, which covers a discard and a move. Read the instructions. It's pretty basic overall. The other fate card, he just discarded. Can't see it. He just discarded over here. So dad's going to finish the rest of his turn. Discard. He's going to discard up some cards. To any or all. So he's discarding his whole hand and, and he's going to choose four more to end his turn. So the reason that some of the players will do that is because they need a specific card that's in that colored deck. I discarded it too. Yeah. Uh, Ryder needed it and he found it, it was the trident. Lily needed it, and she happened to find it, which was the Neverland map. Dad's still looking for his, which is the Scarab Pendant. Pendant. All right, so um, we're going to just kind of speed it up from here. Again, I cannot stress enough, watch the kids' video. They do an excellent job of explaining how each character wins the game.
So that's game. So I'm going to just show every how, where everybody kind of was. So mom won because all of my card guards were turned sideways. They were wickets. I took a shot and I won. Um, Ryder was very close. So you can see he would have won next turn because he had both the crown and the trident on Ursula's lair. So he would have won, so I took a chance and I ended up winning before he did. Lily was still looking for Peter Pan. She never did find him. So all she had was the Neverland map. Uh, she wasn't that close. Dad? Nowhere near. Nowhere near. Um, he had the scarab pendant. Is that right? Yep. And the magic lamp. But I think he was just trying to build up his allies to defeat the genie and yeah, cards weren't flipping up for him. So, um, Ryder and Mum were the closest. Mum took a risk and she ended up winning. So, that's Villainous. Watch the kids review. They explain all the villains and all the cards. And until then, uh, keep playing and have fun. Thank you.